Okay, for the second part of this video, I'll just be showing you, I'll show you how to create bitmap, uh, the bitmap plugin that we used in Substance Player. So I'm just starting with a, a new graph right now, physically based. Make sure it's relative to parent. If it's absolute, you won't be able to export, uh, be able to export, expose the output. So just choose relative to parent. I'll name this bitmap, bitmap arm. All right, so open that up and all right, that's, that's uh, then search for bitmap to material and drag it in there and just start connecting this stuff here. Diffuse, diffuse normal, specular, gloss map. Normal, gloss map. And you could also create this other ones here, but I'm not gonna do all of them. I'll just create one more. So just search spacebar output. So like that, maybe name this roughness. Roughness and usage, add item, diffuse, go down, go down. Roughness, there we go. And that's it, and just plug this in here. Let's go ahead and actually save package and export. Export as, as bar file. Right click and export. Bitmap Parm, save that. Copy this link first. Save. Uh, save. Okay, if you used absolute values, then this output size wouldn't be available to you. Since we used relative, it's there. So just check that. Hit OK. Substance player, let's open it up. Okay, this is it right here. Wow, uh, that's that's the wrong file. That was SBS file, not as bar. I think this is as bar. Bitmap, bitmap, parm. This is the as bar file. Okay, that's it. So what we have now is output size is available, and stuff. We, we don't have a place to plug the diffuse map in here. We don't have a place to plug the diffuse map in here yet because we don't have an input node here. So we'll go ahead and create that. So spacebar, input, color, and just drag it in here. Bitmap diffuse. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and export, save, overwrite. Yes, and then just reopen. All right, so that's it. And we have almost the exact same thing. All right, so uh, let's go back to rounded cube. All right, so we've done that. That's where you get started. That's basics there. All right, from here, you might want to add some stuff. This is the exposing the parameter spot. For a texture like that, some textures you just get from the internet and they're not quite tiled. Let's see a brick texture or just brick wall it doesn't have to be a texture let's find something uneven let's see um, let's say this one it's it's not oh uh, uh, that looks too bad yeah, let's let's use this one. It doesn't look seamless, does it? Kind of cuts off. It's not quite seamless, so let's let's use this one. Bring that out here and bring it inside a Substance Designer. Import resource. We're not actually going to be using this. We're just using it to test our maps. See. All right, that, that looks good. It doesn't quite tile well, but 
it still looks good. All right, so here we'll just select this, hit spacebar, and tile. Make a tile photo. All right, so that that fixed that up real quick, huh? <laughs> All right, so that's one thing you could do. It sometimes blurs out the edges here, so just reduce this. All right, and all right. So the exposing part, all you have to do is click on this and expose parameters, and select the ones you want to expose. Once you do this, it's no longer going to be available in the editor. So just make sure it looks good first. It's not even going to save the def default, so it's the end user that's going to have to tweak them. So, okay, and that's that's it. And you could also add, add some other stuff like effects and all that. If you've used Substance Designer, I'm assuming you have, you could change a lot of stuff. And what else do I really want to add here? Let's say let's see. Oh yeah, Ch channels. We don't we don't have any of those channels here to tweak the normal maps and stuff. So let's go ahead and expose that for the bitmap. Select bitmap and expose parameters. I'll just go ahead and hit the diffuse normal. I actually just do all of them. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and ex uh, export this, see what it looks like. Override that. Player, open. All right, there we go. Oh wow, that's, that's, that's not what we want. So once you're done, make sure you delete the, remove the actual image from there. Just uh, let it have the input note so you could, we could put our own texture in. Export. Because if you add a, uh, an image here, the user is not going to be able to add anything else here. So let's just try that. It's not going to let us do that. So open. All right, there we go. So we'll just grab a wall in here. All right, so we can see it looks good. But what about a different texture? So see, sand. Still looks it looks good. It, it tiles really well, and we could see some distortions there. But okay, all I can see here now is that the the tilet photo parameters has been exposed, but I still can't find the bitmap to material parameters. So I'll just go back in here, see what went wrong here. What just happened? Resource. Okay. Expose. Input attributes. Attributes. Instance parameters. Expose. All right. So. If, oh. Okay. Uh. We okay. There's there's a whole lot of them just down here. I've not selected, so just go down and select all of them. Diffuse, saturation stuff, specular. <clears throat> all right. So there are a whole bunch of these things you could just expose here. For the for substance, but I'm just gonna do a, just select few. At least you get the idea. You just work with it. Let's see, export, save, replace, and open it. 
All right, so we have everything we need now. So sand, podium in here, and we could tweak the relief anytime we want. Let's see, check that normal maps out. Very large details. Friction times B. You see all that. Moving, change the hue, saturation, different colors. Nice sand. All right, so that's basically how it works. You don't need a uh, bitmap to material. Uh, you could get anything you want here, Substance Designer. I'll just try to tweak this some more and maybe expose some more stuff Then I might put it on Substance Share. You could download it for free and use it. Uh, th thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Till next time, bye.